Welcome back to the channel everyone. Hopefully everyone's having a great day today. Today we're going to finish relocating the battery. So in my other video I got the battery re removed, the tray removed, and the battery box located in the back of the trunk. Now we just need to run the wires and also hide the fuse box. So let me clean up a little bit in here and we'll get started. Let's go. You got the bent cleared off a little bit. I did start a video on removing my steering wheel and replacing it with the D&D one. But I received the wrong hub, so I'm getting that changed out now. But for the rear location kit, it came with, uh, I think, like 32 inches of ground, 17 feet of two gauge uh, wire, and then I cut off a piece already and crimped the end. And that will be for the fuse so I'm going to put on the uh, battery box. It's a 150 amp fuse, resettable fuse. Just pulled out the battery box. And what I'm going to do, I'm just kind of mocking it up. Got the small piece of cable here. I think I'm going to mount the fuse right here on the back side so it's hidden. Got a uh, nut and bolt here. So we'll have to drill into this and mount the fuse. So there I got it mounted up. I'm just going to wrap around. Then I'll have to cut that in and put the battery terminal on. Got it back in. I ended up mounting the fuse sideways. Here, you can see. I mainly did that because it's barely hitting the bottom here when I went to push it down. And also this will help make the cable flow better coming around. So time to get the seats folded down and start running cable. All right, I got the cable coming through under the rear seat, coming out right here. And this is where we're gonna go under the carpet. And to remove this, all you do is pry it up. It's just clipped on. And then we'll be going through right there, that channel, all the way up here to the glove box. Just like that, cable's hidden nicely to the front where we're gonna relocate the fuse box. So we need to figure out how to take this off Looks like a couple bolts and then the harness plugged right down here. So let's just get this off and figure out a place to put it under the dash. Welcome back. It's been two weeks. I've been in between the last two videos. So on that last clip we saw I was just getting all these wires unhooked, headlight harness unhooked, got the fuse box taken off, and then I guess you pop this bottom cover and there should be three plugs. This morning I'm just kind of looking everything over trying to figure out what way I'm gonna go through the firewall. So right now, I'm gonna get this unplugged, kinda of look everything over, and then I'll keep you guys updated. Got the fuse box removed, it's pretty simple. It's got these tabs that go all around it. Take a little flathead, pop it off. Then you got five plugs, let's unplug them. That's how it looks right now. Here are the plugs to the fuse box. Got that grommet off right there. And then took the seat out 
and the glove box to give me more room. So now I just need to figure out how to push these wires through and hopefully I can do it by myself. Cause my wife's gone right now. So I'm going to change this video up a little bit. We're just going to do the battery relocation, getting it wired up. This will be part two. I will do the fuse box relocation in a future video. Just because me trying to do this by myself, I don't want to damage any of these wires. As you can see, the little update, I delumed it so I could separate the headlight harness, fuse box harness and then the harness the wiring harness for the engine and I just tried a little bit and I just don't want to damage it so what we'll do is we got the power cable up here to the floorboard and we'll just put it through the firewall for now up to the starter get the fuse box put back in a little bit and finish up wiring the back of it. Let's so un untape some of this loom, pulled it back some. We'll be going through right here, this hole right here for now. So let's get this power cable strung through. last few clips I got the power cable pulled through hooked up to the starter right here also I got the fuse box plugged back in for now and then I pulled off this this was the power going to the starter the old cable and the there's a power going to the fuse box which I'm gonna run to the store right now and get a longer cable so I can go from the power cable down there up to where the fuse box sits. So let me run to the store real fast, get that cable, and let's get this thing finished. done here in the engine bay we brought the power cable from the back to the starter made a cable power cable going to the fuse box got that put back up here just one bolt for now also I loomed the power cable then on the inside all I did was roll up the uh, extra power cable for now under there under the carpet So the last thing we need to do is just hook up the battery in the back and we should be done. Just like that, we're all done. Got the battery hooked up. I ran the ground just behind the box so it would be hidden. Grounded down the paint, put a bolt through, and then put a hole for the breather tube. So, so far everything looks good. When I hooked up the battery, the alarm started going off, so let's get a first start. Startup went great. Everything went well. No issues. So here's how it looked. It'd look a lot better if I had the limb back on that, but get the look if you just want to do the battery relocation without the fuse box, which like I said will be in our separate video. And also gives you the look at the headlight tuck right here to match this side it did a couple of videos ago. It really cleans out the bay, makes it look a lot cleaner. 
and then this back here you have the cover on bolted down nice and sturdy not going anywhere so overall I'm really happy with how this turned out I think the car is looking a lot better with the engine bay being cleaned up and since we are done with that project we can mark it off the list of to do's there's a few little things I want to get done but that, that'll be for future videos if you do like this video leave a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you have any comments or questions just comment down below and until next time peace out got back from the hardware store got uh, four feet of three gauge no Four feet of ninja power. And just like that, that's how. You, God, just like that, that's how you do it. Peace out. See you next time.